Hello, Yawning Angel here again, this time with an update video for March 2023. Where's the time going? Anyway, in this video, I want to talk about AMOS, I want to talk about OSSC, I want to talk about RTS, and I want to talk about swag. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So I just wanted to start by showing you my Amos original collection. So I've been collecting the manuals and the boxes, the big box editions of Amos. So I've got Amos the Creator, obviously. We've got Amos, uh, Easy Amos there. And of course, Amos Professional, along with Amos Compiler and Amos 3D. Of course, for my videos, I use Amos Professional. It's just great having the original manuals with all of these wonderful pieces of software. I am looking out for Amos Professional Compiler, an original version of that, and also the uh, a box for Amos 3D. I've only got the manual and the discs. Just one of those things you pick up on eBay for good money and I just fancied having it. At some point I will dip into Amos 3D, fancy having a bit of a go on that, but uh, until that time we're sticking with Amos Professional. Anyway, enough of this. Uh, what, Yawning Angel, have you got coming up for your Amos tutorials next? I'm going to be exploring IFF files, how to load them into your Amos programs, and how to use those IFF files to create icons for your, your programs and the functionality within those programs. So a little bit of a snippet here. This is the kind of thing you could expect to be seen on my next video. Really is going to be something special and I can't wait to bring it to you. Finally, on the Amos front, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has left comments on my Amos tutorial videos and has given me some really positive feedback in, uh, in those comments and also on Twitter and Mastodon and even in person at some events as well. I'm really stoked that people are getting some benefit out of those videos and it's getting people back into Amos and back into programming on the Amiga. So thank you one and all for leaving some really great comments. I really appreciate it. And that just kind of inspires me to carry on and do more Amos tutorial videos. And why wouldn't I? It's great fun. I'm also happy to report that I've joined the ranks of many of you and obtained for myself an OSSC device. I've been after one of these for a while and I finally got one and I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I've only recently plumbed it in, so this is it here in all its glory, currently hooked up to my Spectrum Plus 2 and I need to now plumb in all my other devices to it as well, so the Amiga and the BBC Master, uh, and that is a job coming up. And today, only today, I've managed to secure uh, a tool which will help me do that. And that tool is one of these bad boys. Can't wait to get this plumbed in. I couldn't resist getting some footage from my BBC Master using the OSSC. This is Elite for the Master, and this is the Mark Moxon flicker-free version where the ships and the planets don't flicker anymore. It just looks so smooth and creamy, doesn't it? Uh, apart from my rubbish plane. But I just wanted to capture this to, to show you this because he's done some great work on, on this. Um, and the game plays really well also. So after the beep, got some footage off of my ZX Spectrum Plus 2 and I wanted to have a quick go on the Super Bomberman demo. This looks incredible and I need to buy the full version of this. Well worth investing in. It looks amazing and it sounds good too. Did you know that on Easter weekend, that's the 8th and 9th of April, the man, the legend who is Rose Tinted Spectrum will be doing a 24 hour charity drive in aid of Great Ormond Street Hospital, where he will be playing dizzy games for 24 hours. Why would you do that? Anyway, it's a great cause. 
Don't forget, Rose Tinted Spectrum has a brilliant YouTube channel. He's done some amazing videos. He's got a great, uh, a great number of followers. Uh, you really do need to check this out. There'll be a number of us retro YouTubers who'll be helping him out on that weekend, myself included. You've got the likes of RMC Retro, uh, Mark Fixes Stuff, uh, Control Alt Reese, you've got the Oliver Twins turning up. Uh, yes to Zine will be there, More Fun Making It Lee, and a host of others. We're all going to be there helping him out on that weekend. So be sure to keep your eye on Twitter, Mastodon, and various social channels where all more further details will be announced closer to the time. But this is going to be a great event. So hopefully we'll see you there. Back on Saturday, the 18th of February this year, I attended Swag 14. This is the user group meeting for the South West Amiga Group, and this is held at Doddington Parish Hall near Bristol. A great event, well attended, a lot of enthusiasts there. Uh, these user group meetings are really interesting. Great machines on display. Have a look at this Commodore PET. How clean is that? Really nice. Um, the event, as I said, was well attended. Uh, it was nice to see some familiar faces, uh, make some new friends there as well, meet with people and chat, all like-minded people there, all for the same thing, all passionate about the Amiga in any shape or size. Um, these events are really are the, the lifeblood of the community and if you have such an event that happens near you, I thoroughly recommend that you go along and attend. I had a really great time at this event and I'd like to thank the SWAG committee, that's Dave, Steve, Derek, Gil, Zeb and Rob. The event was really well organised, lunch was fantastic, some great food turned up there, thanks guys. Um, the next SWAG meet is to be held early to mid-September, information will be on their social media channels, SWAG are on Twitter and Facebook and I'll put the links to those channels in the video notes below. And that's it for this update video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, the next video coming out will be, of course, my next Amos tutorial video, as already mentioned. Don't forget the stuff happening with Rose Tinted Spectrum on the 8th and 9th of April. Uh, be sure to like this video if you want to. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future releases. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Whatever you do, keep it retro.